Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be putting you through how to create your horizontal and vertical scroll behavior. So um, this is the vertical, you can scroll from top to bottom and um, everything else is in place. You can scroll from left to right, right to left and everything else is in place. So um, in case you're new to UI UX design or you are new to using Figma, um, this is how it is done. Um, so for example, what I have here is a design I worked on uh, sometimes last year. And um, one of the features includes having the images scrollable um, horizontally on the home page. So what I did was I have all of the images arranged the way I would like them to be when they are being scrolled. So, um, so what I did was I put them together, I, I dragged over them and I made them into a frame. And how you do that is you either right click after dragging over, make sure all of them are selected, make sure they are all selected. Then, um, you can do this and just select frame selection. That's it. It's simple. You can also press shift E to achieve this same thing. So what you do next is you come to where you have your frame features here, then you click on clip content, clip content. So once you do that, you now um, click on your command and left click and just drag it in. Now why I'm dragging it in is because I want to show only a portion that would be displayed on my screen. And you drag it into your mock space. Yeah, I want only this portion to be displayed on the screen. Exactly like this. Yeah. So once this is done, the next thing you need to do is you need to add your um, the scroll behavior, your prototype feature. So what you need to do is come to prototype and um, on that scroll behavior, you see something called overflow. Then select horizontal scroll. What this means is, okay, um, on this particular um, selection, this frame, I want to be able to scroll horizontally. That is why you can see something like this. It's possible when you put that setting, you can scroll horizontally. Then about the vertical one, it's the same process. But this time you're not selecting horizontal, of course, you're selecting vertical. So what I want is, I want to be able to scroll through um, the page vertically and um, see all of these other images below. How this is done is you come to all of the images like we did with the horizontal scroll images you select everything make sure you put all of them together in your selection yes the next thing you do you can guess is make them a frame either use shift a you can use shift a or you right click and select frame selection it's simple as soon as that is done, you can see that it's 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 put everything in the frame so what you need to do next like we did earlier was just click on clip content you guess right and just drag this in hold down your control drag this in drag it to the point where you want to be displayed so um i have done that here make sure every other thing is in place every other thing is fixed um all right so once you do that the next thing you do, it will work if you don't go to prototype to activate your vertical scroll. So what you need to do is go to prototype and um, overflow, then select the vertical, select vertical. Now what both direction means is that you're trying to make it both horizontal and vertical direction. That is not what I'm trying to do here, so it's not part of our lessons for today. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make the vertical scroll activated. So what I did here was I'm able to successfully make this scrollable vertically so you can scroll through and see so if you have a hundred images that you want to display and uh, during your presentation or your prototype you can actually display all hundred pictures and you can scroll through it's so easy so so easy and um that is how easy it is to actually create this so um thank you very much uh please don't forget to like don't forget to share this to someone else where you think will need it and don't forget to subscribe so that when I drop new videos, new updates, you get to see it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.